Hello, and welcome to this little intermission video, where we look over all the new shit we got. We got so many things. I couldn't remember if it was, like, now or, like, the next mission where we got bombarded with mechs and pilots. It's this one! It's this one! And, uh, yeah. Uh, even though I already showed off the O1, I'll go ahead and show it off. Oh, no. Uh, j just in case you weren't paying attention at the end, here's the O1 real quick. It's... It's kind of a piece of shit. It's not even the... It's got the jetpacks, but it doesn't move very far. And seven is eh, nothing special. I mean, but both this and the O1 move 12 in in third game. I don't know if anything has that kind of ridiculous movement in this one. But um, at least this thing can fly, so eh. Its speed isn't great, um, neither is this one, but it's got pretty okay armor for a mobile suit. Well, okay, a mobile suit within a mobile armor. Yeah. And hey, this thing has an eye field, so neat. Okay, what else? the Stamen, um, in case it comes down to it, there's this thing. It's, uh, it's got the folding bazooka, which this doesn't have. Can you even use his rifle post movement? I didn't even see that. Yeah, I can. Okay. Okay, we already saw the, those GMs, uh, and we still got pilots to go after too after this. So, okay, after looking around, there is no other Mark II. It, it's just that they took. <laughs> but then again, that can't be right either. I, I'm pretty sure I'm not missing it though. If you go on the wing route, you get the the white Mark II and the G Defensor. So I guess we just get rid of Emma's Mark II, because I checked her pilot status, and she's not piloting anything, so... I don't know, I can't find it, so I just assume they just took it away. Whatever. Don't need it, the Mark II's a piece of crap. Now, you get the Mark II and the G-Defensor in this, alright? Now, unlike three, you can launch them as the Super Gundam. And you can actually use the G Defensor pilot, uh, uh, G Defensor pilot's spirit abilities. So there is, so you can get two pilot or level up two pilots for the price of one. So there is more reason to use Super Gundam in this. Now, it's not really hard hitting, but I mean, it's still got the long rifle in the. Well, it's got a bazooka, but eh. Uh, but the thing is, uh, but the, the big prize here is the long rifle. It's got an okay beam rifle, and, but just the fact that you can launch two pilots in this so you can artificially make a, a sub-pilot for one unit, so yeah. And it starts off with decent speed and armor, so eh. <clears throat> Might not be a bad idea to go ahead and launch it. I, I'll, I'd probably use it. In fact, I probably will. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm going to see how many we can launch in the next mission. I think I'll probably start doing that from now on, because I know I can skip all the text by just holding start. Because I gotta get a better idea of how many units I can bring, because... We're in a super crunch time right now. <laughs> okay, the Methus! Yay! Methus is... Methus is crap in this one, unfortunately. Its armor sucks, its speed sucks. Um... Still only has two weapons like it did in three. And it probably performs even worse in this one. I mean, it, it looks like higher damage, but eh. It can shoot a little further than before. This just has the beam gun. And it's only got eight shots. And once it's out, it's out. So. We won't be. Funny enough, this has more armor when it's in mobile armor form and more speed. There's like. Unless you play on attack with the melee saber, which you should not, or the melee, saber, the beam saber, which you should not do, there's no reason to get out of this mode. If you really want lots of healing, I guess you could take the methus, but you're gonna have the white arc. You have two blue guards. You don't need the methus, so unfortunately, we will not be using the methus this time. Uh, double double Zs. Already know about that one. Core fighter, Cubile. There you are, new Gundam. This new Gundam isn't just for show, but it is. Uh, well, it isn't just for show, but yeah. 
So, not great armor, but it's got great speed. It has an eye field still. Uh, pretty good starting hit points for a mobile suit. Uh, it's got all the, the normal, you know, stuff for uh, the new Gundam. The Hyper Bazooka is nice if you can hit with it. But it's just, it'll be like a new type piloting this thing. Then yeah. Now, why does it have to be a new type? This is why. Fin Funnels. Now, you can't move an attack, unfortunately, with these. But once again, they don't count as a beam attack. And these aren't as good as... Uh, or th these aren't as adaptable as they were in 3. They're not 7s in every environment. In fact, they're BB... A C in the C, and uh, A, and the crit rate isn't great, and it doesn't have the massive hit bonus like it did before, but it's still long range, fin funnels are still very nice, uh, you should use the new Gundam, but funnels aren't as indispensable as they were before. Yeah. Oddly enough, here's the Regis, and Burning's in it, it's strange, Lieutenant Burning's from Stardust Memory. Um, Okay, this is the mobile suit form. I don't know if this gets extra lives or not. I, I'm half tempted to, like, play forward and see if this and the O3 and the Super Gundam get extra lives. Just to find out. Um, this is basically a grunt suit. Eh. Nothing terribly special about this one. I don't remember... If this can reconvert once it turns into once it turns into a mole suit, I don't know if it can reconvert or not. I don't think it can. Um, but I'm gonna test that anyway. So the mega beam cannon, that's nice. Doesn't shoot as far before as before, but eh. Um, does it use energy or ammo? It uses energy this time. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we have that. Moving on, we've seen the Jagan, seen V dash. Uh, wide arc. Oh boy, Wing Gundam Zero Custom. Yeah, it's got big angel wings. Eh. It's got an eye field. I forget what the Zero system does, because I fucking hate wing. <laughs> uh, it's got good armor, though. Good speed. In fact, the Wing Zero is good. It's really good. It's got two different map attacks. Twin Buster Ruffle. <laughs> uh, but, problem is, this thing just eats energy. You got three shots with this, which is nice. One shot with the, with this one, which is, you know, fine. But the Twin Buster Ruffle requires energy. So, your arsenal is limited with this thing. I'll give it a shot, but ammo is such a problem with this thing. Other than that, that's why I got the machine cannons and the beam saber. So basically, this thing's gonna need repl if you if you can keep this thing replenished, it's fine. And you can't even use these until you get will. It's just it's hard to use the wing zero. I, uh, I'm not a fan of it. But, since it's requested, I will use it until you guys say, okay, you don't have to use it anymore. Uh, Death Scythe Hell Custom. Uh, good armor. Uh, okay speed. Got an eye field. What's the other field? It's got two fields. This thing is weird. Two attacks. Got Balkans and Beam Scissors, which is like its scythe attack. It's got a really high crit rate. Yeah. Other than that, uh, now its pilot duo has uh, what was it? Was it guts? I think. Once you get this thing low, this thing crits like a monster. But other than that, piece of shit. Uh, we have the heavy arms custom. Um, its gimmick is it just pulls out four mini guns. Yeah, it's heavily armored. Eh, it's actually it's got weapons. There's lots of weapons. It's got all the guns. I'd rather use this than Wing Zero. Will you guys let me use this instead of Wing Zero? <laughs> uh, the only reason I'm doing this is because of requests. 
Does this thing... Oh, it actually moves like six. I thought it was five. Uh, it's got micro missiles. That's fun. And this is the only one I actually like, is the heavy arms. Oh, this piece of shit. Okay. It's heavily armored. And we already know about this one. It's got a Vulcan and it's got a heat show tail. Whoopie shit. Move on. Okay, we're almost at the end of our little tour here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the Taurus first. Yeah, it's like those things we fought before, except this one's light. And it's knowings. Um, it's, it's got a beam cannon in this form. <laughs> That's it. Uh, yeah, now the flight mode. This thing can move. It's, uh, uh it's only got a beam cannon. It's, it's a piece of shit. This one is useful for mission six of the other path. And that's it. Pretty much. Uh, the tall geese. No, it's not a Gundam. It's it's actually a really old mobile suit in the Wing series. Or Wing universe. However, Z Zex's mo uh, particular tall geese is like so heavily modified or something like that that like is literally like like neck breaking not ne not literally neck breaking but like it, the way it turns and stuff like it creates immense g forces that just makes it really 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 hard to pilot this thing which just leads more to I mean, it's impressive that Zex can use this but it also like tends to show just how stupid he is also I mean, he does a lot of stupid things in Wing, and Tall Geese is just another one. I mean, he wants to show that he's a badass, I guess, by using this old piece of shit and making it modded up the ass, but yeah. Other than that, uh, it's, it's got a Mega Cannon. <laughs> it's actually better than the Buster Ruffle, I think. Use the same amount of energy, though. And, uh, yeah, that, that, that's it for new mechs. Now for pilots. Oh, jeez, we got like a million of them. Okay, we see... Okay, everybody's been upgraded. I guess they just... add so many levels to what you had before or something like that? Because Camilo's my highest level. He was my highest level before. I think. Before the split, anyway. Yeah, Peru, yeah, he's doing great. Camilo, you're so cool. Oh man, Camilo's such the fuck. It's he's so the best. It's un it's unbelievable. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, go burning. Um, burning's actually like okay. Like for being like kind of a toss-in character, he's actually okay. God's leadership, shield def defense, and deflect. He's not bad. He's really not. He's got focus. That's neat. Um, wait, the, okay. I thought there was something else I had to click on. Four. How you doing? Uh, four is just is just okay in this one. Uh, she's n not the monster that she was in three. That's for sure. But she does have a cyber new type, and she can support. So that's neat. Uh, yeah, she's got focus alert. She can dodge. But she sucks and She's not that great in air or space. Uh, I don't know what I'm, what I'm going to do with her. I don't know what I'm going to do, period. Let's see. Ru Luca from Double Zeta. New type, support, deflect, focus alert. T the two pilots of the Super Gundam have the same exact freaking spirits. That's just a waste. Don't do it. And Ru sucks in this. She... Rue's terrible, don't use her. And she sucks in everything except for space. And her stats, pfft. Don't use, don't use Rue. Friends don't let friends use Rue. Uh, see, Marbet, we already know. Hero, ah. Okay. His hit's not as low as I remember. I remember his hit building being really, really shit. Oh, what a, whatever. Hero sucks anyway. It looks like he's actually okay here, but um, Jack did point something out that I didn't notice before, and I think it's freaking hilarious. Now, pay attention to his spirits, okay? Alright. You looking at him? Alright. That's a good duo. Okay, he's got focus and stuff, he's got shield to fight. 
or defensive deflect. Uh, duo's uh, duo is pretty okay. He, he's fine if you want to use him. Okay, look at the spirits. Okay, Troa. God, I hate Troa. Uh, I don't care for Troa. Okay, I don't care for any of the wing boys. But in terms of if we're just like blocking out the name and the picture, like I'm doing with my fingers right now, you can't see it. It's like, eh, it's, uh, it's not bad. Uh, eh. He's he's a good defender. Yeah, I'd, I'd hope so for someone with heavy arms. Okay, you see the skills or the spirits. Okay. Next. Um. Oh yeah. Um. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, the hell is he? Little shit. Yeah, they did just add levels. Okay. Do you see his skill or spirit abilities? Are you noticing a trend? All these little emo shits have detonate. God, I hate wing. I'm just a nameless soldier on the battlefield. That's what Troa says. Here's Zex. He's pretty good overall. Too bad he's a fucking idiot. Focus alert, mercy, prevail, shield defense, deflag. He's a good defender. Uh, he, he's best when the chips are down. But, uh, yeah, Zex is, like, probably the best wing pilot. Uh, knowing... Sucks. <laughs> uh, she's got focus, which is nice. And excel, and trust. She can support. But, uh, knowing sucks. Let's just move on. Okay, was there anybody else? Anybody else? I think we've already went, gone over everybody. There's no need to go over the Brygar pilots. Because the only thing that matters with them is their spirits. I already showed those. Uso, Haro, Yoma. Uso. I think that's it. Uh, Keith, Mantra. Oh, yeah, cats. Here we go. Uh, cats is awful. <laughs> Cats is super awful. Don't even bother. I don't know if he gets like good spirits later on or something, but <sighs> don't use cats. Plus, he's just stupid little shit in Zeta anyway. Okay, I never actually did save before, so I'm gonna save now. Neat. Okay, that's it for this little intermission. And I'll see you sometime for the next episode. Later.